So welcome back to my channel and as you can see the look that I have going on here is very Korean spring and summer inspired look and if you guys want to see how I achieved this full look, keep on watching. Okay, so I apologize if you can hear some sounds from the outside. My neighbors are doing construction. But okay, I've already done my skin prep, which is using a toner to unclog my pores, apply moisturizer and SPF. So I'm just going to go in with the first product. Today's video is product sponsored by Tony Moly and I've used a couple of their products before so today I'm really going to be focusing on only Korean products simply because this is going to be a Korean look and I like Tony Moly's formulas so the first item would be the BCD Dation BCD cushion and it is in the shade 1 and basically how I'm going to be using this cushion is to highlight my features and not to mask everything on my face. Okay so this is how the cushion looks like. It's ultra thin. As you can see it's super super thin and it's really highly pigmented so I'm just gonna use this almost like a concealer. Going in with this cheek contour duo. It has two very complementary kind of bronzing and shading shades. So I'm going to just go in with a mixture of both just to bronze up my face and then the cooler tone shade in more precise areas. Going into the cooler tone shade and then really precisely carving out those areas. But I use a really small brush. On to brows, this is the lovely eyebrow pencil from Tony Moly. One end is the spoolie where you can brush out your brows. The other end is a brow pencil. So I'm just going to keep it really really natural. I'm just going to line the lower brow. Get the precise placement of how I want the brow to be. So it's just really naturally shaping you know, how my brow is. Pencil's really really great because it has a fine tip and it allows you to fill in the sparse areas without overdoing it. So similarly to make it look even more natural, just take your foundation brush and brush it through the front of the brows. For blush, I'm using this cheek tone blush in an orangey shade really really complementary to Asian skin tones if you have yellow or olive undertones orange works really well so because it's super pigmented I'm just going to dust it off and really just get a very subtle flush going into the cheek tone highlighting duo as you can see inside, there's basically two highlighting shades, a pinkier version and a more pearly shade. So I'm mixing the two to do a cheek highlight and then the whiter highlight only on the high points. I want to emphasize on creating a really dewy look. So on the high points of the cheek, making sure I take it almost to the end of my eye. I want it to reflect light, almost like you are naturally radiant. Going back into this cheek tone contour duo, I really like the tones of this. I'm going to use it on the eyes. I'm just going to do natural shading. By natural shading, it's really like creating the illusion of a deeper set eye when, you know, you can see I clearly have a single eyelid. So I'm going to use a combination of the two browns and just sweep it in where my eyeball naturally folds. So if you stick your finger in here, you can see sort of that lit space or even if you use the brush, it's kind of like here. So you kind of just don't want the colour to go beyond that point. I'm going to take a little bit of the orange blush shade as well and I just want a bit of colour so that it looks a bit more springtime, summertime appropriate. So I'm just going to focus that on the inside. So just somewhere around here. Going back into the brown, and going under the eyes just to create that kind of, you know, blurred out liner effect. But also, 
it's a very Korean trend thing to do to have the colour sit a bit lower under the eyes. It creates a shadow which creates an illusion of a bigger eye. Alright, last few steps for the eyes. Now that we have the base tones settled, so basically that created shadows, that created an illusion of a bigger eye. Now I'm going into this single eye shadow from Tony Moly. It's just a sparkle to add a bit of gloss and dew. And also the agiosa area, which is like the inner corner to make it look really youthful and young. This is the eyeliner from Tony Moly, a very nice felt tip. Just going to line my lash really tightly. And I've just curled my lashes, but basically this is the mascara from Tony Moly. A very nice kind of aerodynamical brush with a lot of product on the wand. That's the eyes done. Really nice, very useful, very simple. And now moving on to the lipstick. This is a bullet lipstick from Nimoli. It's just a very nice orangey red and starting out from the middle section of the lip. The foundation brush just to clean up any messy edges. Last but not least, going back into the shading colour and shading the lower lip. And that's my completed Korean inspired kind of spring summer look. And I really really like it. I think everything looks really tonal. It makes me look really useful and also just very in tune with this season and playing off, you know, shading shades with a little bit of an orange undertone and pairing up a lip, a red lip with an orange undertone as well. So yep, I'll bring you in closer for the final look. Okay, so if you guys want to see everything that I've used from Tony Moly to achieve this look, check out the description box below. Also, I do have a discount code. I do not gain any commission from this. The brand just kindly extended a coupon code for my followers and my readers. So yeah, not too much else to add. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know and let me know what other looks you want me to derive. So this is my Korean look, maybe a European kind of look. The massive contouring trends or you know anything else like a French inspired look let me know so don't forget to follow me on my social media here and I'll see you guys in the next one bye